Hello. This is our third week of our music lessons. So I'm going to start off by singing our hello song. So, me first and then you copy. Hello there, hello there. So how do you do? Hello there, hello there. I'm fine, how are you? Well done. It's lovely to see you all again. So we're going to start with a chant, uh, a little bit different this week. And the uh, whole chant goes like this. I'm going to do the whole lot and then there are bits that you're going to do. So I'm going to say, what's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. So that's the whole thing. But part of it is that I'm going to ask the questions and you're going to answer those questions. So if I go like this, this is my part. If I go like this, this is your part. But I'm going to say all the parts at the moment. So it goes. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? So, shall we do that again? So remember, there are bits where I ask the questions. You don't have to say those bits. You just think about your answers. And when I do this, those are your answers. So, this is my bit. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni cheese. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. What's for tea today? Cold fish fingers. What's for tea today? Chicken and chips. Well done. If you want to pause the video and go back and practice that, then please do. The next stage is for me to do my bit, so you listen there, and then you do your bit on your own. I'll mouth the words, but I'm not going to say them. So are you ready? Off we go. What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? Well done. We're going to do it one more time. This time, I'm not going to mouth the words. I'm going to see if you can remember. Na and remember, say it nice and clearly. Okay, my turn first. Off we go. 
What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? What's for tea today? Well done. I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. We've got a new song today and this song is called Sounds Together. So I'm going to sing the song all the way through the first verse so that you know how it goes. So it goes like this. Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 yes we can. Well done. So in the first verse, the action is clap. Now I wonder how many times I do my clap. So in each little group. So see if you can count this time. Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 yes we can. How many times did I clap each time I clapped? It was four times, wasn't it? So, would you like to do the clap, clap, clap bit with me? Even if you don't sing the rest of it, you can sing the clap bits. So, off we go. Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 keep it all together? Can we clap, 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 yes we can. Well done. If you want to go over that, then pause the video and then go back over that and practice that again. So that was the first verse where we're doing the clapping. So the second verse, the action is clap, 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 click. How many times did we clap then? It was one, two, three, and then we did a click. Let's try those actions. Ready, go. Clap. Clap, clap, click. So there were three claps and one click. Let's try that again. Clap, 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 click. Okay, let's put that now into the song. Are we ready? Off we go. Can we clap, 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 clip? Keep it all together. Can we clap, 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 click? Keep it all together. Can we clap, 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 click? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 click, yes we can. So that was the second verse. Now the third verse, the actions are different again. So it goes, the actions go, clap, clap, click, stamp. You can't see my feet stamp, but you can stamp. So it goes, clap, clap, click, stamp. How many times did we clap that time? It was two times. One, two, then a click and a stamp. Let's try that together. Just do, do those actions. Ready, go. Clap, clap, click, stamp. Shall we put those into the song now? So this is the third verse. Are we ready? Off we go. Can we clap, clap, click, stamp? Keep it all together, can we clap, clap, click, stamp, keep it all together, can we clap, clap, click, stamp, keep it all together, can we clap, clap, click, stamp, yes we can. Now the last verse, the fourth verse, it's different again. So the actions are clap, click, stamp 
and then throw your arms in the air and go woo like that. Let me show you that again. Clap, click, stamp, woo! Do you want to try that again? Let's have a go. Ready, go. Clap, click, stamp, woo! So shall we put that into the song now? Are you ready? Off we go. Can we clap, click, stamp, woo! Keep it all together. Can we clap, click, stamp, woo! Keep it all together. Can we clap? Click, stamp, woo! Keep it all together, can we clap? Click, stamp, woo! Yes, we can! Well done. If you want to practice any of that, then pause the video and go back over it. Shall we go all the way through the song? Remember, in the first verse, it's four claps. In the second verse, it's three claps and a click. In the third verse, it's two claps, a click and a stamp. And then in the fourth verse, it's clap, click, stamp, woo! Are you ready? So let's do the claps first. Off we go, can we clap, 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 clap? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 clap? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 clap? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 clap? Yes, we can. Can we clap, 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 click? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 click? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 click? Keep it all together, can we clap, 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 click? Yes, we can. Can we clap, clap, click, stamp, keep it all together? Can we clap, clap, click, stamp, keep it all together? Can we clap, clap, click, stamp, keep it all together? Can we clap, clap, click, stamp? Yes, we can. Can we clap, click, stamp? Woo! Keep it all together. Can we clap, click, stamp? Woo! Keep it all together. Can we clap, click, stamp? Woo! Keep it all together. Can we clap, click, stamp? Woo! Yes, we can. Well done. Did you remember all of that? And as I say, you can always stop the video and go back over it um, if you want to have another practice. Right, I'd like to go back through some of the words that we've been doing over the last few weeks. So I'm going to share a screen with you and let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to uh, go from the beginning. So as you see, we've got our word beat. So beat is very important, B for beat. And beat is like a marching, feels like a marching soldier. And in that song that we've just done, all the actions that we were doing were to the beat. It felt a bit like a marching soldier, even though we're clapping and stamping, but we were doing it to the beat. And there we go. There's the pictures of our marching soldiers. Now, the new word last week uh, was rhythm and we're going to do a little bit more about rhythm in a moment. And rhythm, let's see if I can get this to go. Oh, that's the wrong way. Rhythm goes with the words or the notes. And sometimes we can actually clap those, can't we? And we're going to do that now. So we're going to go over the um, the songs that we did last week. So we did um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and we were clapping the rhythm of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So shall we do that together now? Are you ready? Off we go. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you Well 
done. Then the second song that we did was Humpty Dumpty. So we're going to sing that and we're going to clap the rhythm of Humpty Dumpty. So we're going to clap with the words. Are you ready? Off we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well done. And then the third song that we did was Polly Put the Kettle On. We're going to sing that and we're going to clap the rhythm of Polly Put the Kettle On. Are you ready? Off we go, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. Well done. Now, we're going to play a little game. I'm just going to stop sharing that for the moment. OK, so our little game now is I'm going to clap the rhythm of one of those three songs and I want you to guess which song it is. OK, so I'm not going to mouth any words. I'm just going to clap. What song was that one? What was the rhythm of the, that was the rhythm of one of the songs, which song was it? Yes, it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'll just start off the beginning. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, right, I'm going to clap the rhythm of another one of the songs. It might actually be the same one or it might be one of the other two. So what's the rhythm of this, what song is this rhythm of? that song? That was Polly Put the Kettle On. Shall we just try that? Listen. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on. Well done if you got that right. Okay, I'm going to do another rhythm now. It might be the same rhythm as what we've already had or it might be something different. So what's this? Ready? that song that was the rhythm of Humpty Dumpty well done okay I'm gonna do another one it might be Twinkle Twinkle it might be Humpty Dumpty it might be Polly put the kettle on I don't know yet let's see if you can guess what was that one yes that was Polly put the kettle on. Let's do one more before we finish this little section of the lesson. So here's a rhythm, I wonder which song it is. I've just done the beginning of the song, which one was that one? Yes, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, well done. So you were listening to the rhythms of those songs and you were guessing which rhythm I was playing. You were recognising the rhythms. We'll do that again next week. Let's see how good you are next time. Right, I'm going to share the screen with you again so that we can look at something different.
Right, so this was where we got to before. We were talking about the rhythm goes with the words and there was our little hands clapping. We've been clapping, haven't we? We've been clapping the rhythm. Now I'm just going to carry on with the pictures that I've got here. And I've got the word phrase. So that's a word that we use in music. So a phrase is, it's a bit of music, a short bit of music. So when I teach you something, I sing a bit and then you copy. Or you might listen to something and then you, you uh, co uh, copy again. So that's all done in phrases. Now I'm going to have a look and see what the next picture is. Dynamics. We talked about dynamics last week. And at the end of the lesson, we'll listen to a piece of music that shows different dynamics. So dynamics are how loudly or quietly a piece of music is played or sung. So at the end of the lesson, as I say, we'll listen to a piece of music and we'll see how loudly and quietly it is. Now, let's have a look and see if there's something new. Oh, there was somebody shouting loudly and there was some, somebody showing us quiet. Now, let's go on. What's that? That is a cat. That is a cat. And I'm going to also introduce C, curly cur, for cat. So that is a cat. So can we clap the rhythm for cat? So it just goes cat. Okay, so if you see a cat, the rhythm is just cat. Right, I'm just going on to the next picture now. And here we've got something different. What's that? That is a kitten. And we've got k for kitten. So can you clap the rhythm for kitten? So it goes kitten. So we've got something different. We've got, oops, let's go the other way. We've got cat. So let's clap the rhythm for cat, cat. And then we've got kitten. So let's clap the rhythm for kitten. Kitten. Right, we've just got one more. And what's he doing? He's going shh. And there you go. Shh. Okay. Oh, that's going the wrong way. So let's just practice those three again. So we've got cat. That just reminds me that it's a cat. K for cat. Then we've got kitten. And that just reminds me that it's a kitten and it's K for kitten. And then we've got shh. Shh. And that is when I want us to not make any sound at all. So just practice by putting your fingers up at your mouth and don't make any sound at all. That's it. Well done. I'm just going to stop sharing that screen now and I'm going to share a different screen. And let's have a look and see what we've got here. So we've got one, two, three, four cats and one, two, three, four shushes. I'm just going to take the shushes away a minute. I'm just going to take them off the screen. Okay, so we are now left with, if I can just do that, there we go. We're just left now with four cats. And so when we see a cat, I want us to clap the rhythm of four cats. So it goes, cat, 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 cat. Can you do that? So we've got four cats and we're clapping the rhythm of four cats. Let's do that again together. Ready, go. Cat, cat, cat. Cat. So we're saying 
the word cat and clapping the rhythm. Let's do it once more. Ready? Go. Cat, 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 cat. Well done. I'm going to take one of those cats away, I'm hoping. Oh, let me just get rid of that. I'm going to take one of those cats away. And in, in fact, I'm going to move that cat over here. See if I can move it out of the way. I'm going to move that cat there. I'm going to take a shush and put that there. Okay, so let me just hide that. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Now, what we've got here is... Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. We've got a cat, then we've got a sh, and then we've got a cat and a cat. So this time, our rhythm goes like this. Cat, cat, cat. Did you hear just where the shush bit is, there was no sound at all? Let's try that again. Are you ready? Go. Cat, cat, cat. Can you try that on your own? Ready? Go. Well done. Right, we're going to change that now and let's see if I can move that one there, that one there, and that one there. Right. Can you do that rhythm on your own? Try it on your own. Off you go. Well done. Is this how it sounded? I'll show you. Cat, cat, cat. Do you want to try that with me? Are you ready? Off we go. Cat, cat, cat. Well done. Let's change that round again. In fact, I'm going to move that one over there. I'm going to move that one out the way a minute. I'm going to move that one there. Move that one up. And then I'm going to move that one there. Let's just hide that one a minute. Okay. What have we got there now? Can you do that on your own? Are you ready? Okay, did it sound like this? Cat, cat. Remember where it's the bit, we don't want to hear any sound at all. Shall we try that again and make sure that there's no sound at all there? Ready, go. Cat, cat. This time, can you not say the word cat? Just clap the rhythm, so put cat in your mind. Are you ready? Go. Well done. That was really, really good. Let's just do one more before we finish. Let's swap these two around. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Are you ready? Say the words at the moment, uh, apart from the shushy bits. Are you ready? Off we go. Cat. Cat. Well done. Let's do it now without saying the word cat. Put the word cat in your mind. Are you ready? Ready, go. Well done. That was very, very good. So what you're doing there is you're using pictures of the cat and the shush to make up your own rhythms. Now, the reason that I've put a k and a sh underneath these is maybe you're not so good at drawing cats or maybe you'd like to have a go, but you can now write your own rhythms so that you can put a k and then a sh and a sh and a k or whatever, whatever order you want to make up your own rhythms. At the moment, just do it in groups of four um, and then that should be enough. So you're using pictures to make your own music. 
Now the other thing is, you don't have to clap. You could probably get some other mu make up some musical instruments of your own. So you might want to get a spoon and a and a, a drum or something, a spoon and a saucepan, or you might want to get a pencil case or something and shake it. Um, and you can make up your own instruments to play these rhythms. So you can compose your rhythms using cat and sh. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing that screen. We'll do that again next week and make it a little bit more complicated next week. So to finish off our lesson, I would like you to listen to a piece of music. I'm hoping that I can get it to play. And I want you to listen to the dynamics. That's how loud and how quiet this piece of music is. Also, I think this is a good one to see different instruments and hear what they sound like when they play. So this piece of music is called In the Hall of the Mountain King and it's by a gentleman called Mr Grieg. So I'm going to try and share the screen with you. I'm just going to stop sharing a minute and then I'm going to do that again. Okay, here it is. enjoy that piece of music did you enjoy that piece of music why did you enjoy that piece of music now can you tell me how uh, the dynamics changed did you notice how at the beginning it was very very quiet and then towards the end it got louder and louder so it finished loudly so the dynamics of that piece of music started quietly and then it went loudly as well. And did you notice all of the different instruments? And as they played, you could actually see the, the um, camera focused on all of those different uh, instruments when they were playing. So that was called In the Hall of the Mountain King and it was by Mr Grieg. 
and you can, if you want to, you can listen to that again by going back over the video. Now our lesson has nearly finished, so all that we've got to do now is sing our goodbye song. So, are you ready? Goodbye now, goodbye now. Our lesson must end. Goodbye now, goodbye now. Wave bye to our friend. Okay, goodbye.